Racing TV is finding uncommon restaurant quality treats in the common hawker center. Ikan Bilu Sambal Pizza at Topayo West Market, German Sausages in Chinatown, and battered chicken and aglio olio pasta at Golden Mile Food Center were just some of the meals we've discovered in our special. But all that food isn't complete without a tasty beverage. Forget about the common coffee shop beers drunk with ice. The Good Beer Company offers beers and ciders from over a dozen countries around the world. And what better way to enjoy your hawker food than to pair some local dishes with an uncommon beer experience. One of the biggest uh, draws in this soccer center is uh, uh, what they call the garlic steamed fish head, right? So this fish head is uh, at least like, you know, 15 different stalls uh, sell this. And uh, one of the best pairings that I have is actually um, uh, which woods with uh, witchcraft. Okay, it's a blonde beer from the UK that pairs extremely well with uh, fish because what happens is that the, the spiciness of the beer it actually pairs very well with the ginger and the garlic in that fish. So, and then uh, it doesn't also overwhelm the fish taste, right? Because you want to taste the natural uh, the, the fish taste. Um, the other pairing that uh, I recommend, for example, is uh, satay. I mean, like in this uh, hawker center, because it's uh, mainly uh, in the Chinatown area, uh, they have pork satay, yep. and it goes really well with. Uh, any English style ales, the, especially the smokier ones. So it complements extremely well with uh, the smokiness of the satay and the sweetness of the satay. Uh, the, f- the final pairing, which, is, which may sound a little bit weird to most people, I have a lychee beer. And the lychee beer, or although it's like kind of sewn out right now, but the lychee beer, because of its sweetness, uh, it pairs very well, strangely enough, with um, bachomi, right? Because bachomi has that uh, vi- vinegary taste. Um, and that sweetness helped to overcome the vinegary, uh, vinegary taste. Uh, the carbonation also helps to cleanse your palate, right? And the sweetness helps to like d- uh, dull down the spiciness of bachomi. Opened about six months ago, the Good Beer Company was purposefully tucked away in the corner of Chinatown Complex with a view of Smith Street. Its owner, Daniel, wanted to give his customers a quiet place to savor their drink and to also challenge potential customers in discovering the stall, hoping to lend more to its appeal. Okay, so why do you pick this hawker center of all of hawker centers in Singapore? Having spent, you know, my, my early childhood in Chinatown Complex, I know there's a lot of great food in this area. And, um, yeah, it, it, it's a place where I thought it's mysterious enough as well to a lot of uh, locals. So putting it here will attract them to come and try the food available here and... and Honestly, there's a lot of really, really good local food in this area, especially Cantonese-style uh, zita. Why a hawker centre? I've always gone to hawker centres because like, I'm a local boy and I love uh, local hawker food, right? And I've always wondered why there's only a certain range of beers that's available in a hawker centre. I, I, I could put it in another hawker centre, um, but rentals are higher and then uh, the, the, the variety of food may not be as uh, wide as I would like it to be. Uh, over here, you have about 200 over different um, hawker foods, you know, and ranging from so many different kind of styles, especially the, 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 the local favorites. Okay. Um, and it's just, I, I just like the, the mystery factor, right? It's like, oh my God, it's, it's uh, somewhere in the middle of uh, a tourist district, but I've, I've never been there, right? So uh, I thought it would be a really good fit with the beers that I have because the beers are also mysterious to most locals. Formerly working in public relations, the 36-year-old's main goal was to get a new generation of Singaporeans from the restaurants back into the hawker centres. The cool thing about uh, having a place in Chinatown is that um, you get a good mix of of young professionals, expert professionals, and you also have a lot of local, local, and talking about like really a salt of the earth sort of Singaporeans who who come to Chinatown. Um, So what are your clientele that that comes to the good, Good Beer Company? I'm getting a lot of uh, yuppies. So the ones that actually just like uh, serious uh, or the serious drinkers who just like uh, a, a, a night out with, with serious drink and just to chat with friends, they find that this place is nice and slightly quiet uh, where they can have great conversations with their friends and yet have the opportunity to try so many different kinds of beers from all around the world. Do you introduce any of like these foreign beers to any of like the coffee shop apics, you know, like the ones that you only drink Tiger beer and only drink like Heineken? Yeah. You know? I, I, I get a, a, a lot of uncles who come up to me and say, okay, this is interesting, right? Uh, can I order this? Can I have ice as well? Right. And you're like trying to educate them and say, you know, you know, not all beers you need to drink with ice. Uh, in fact, some beers you, 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 you actually uh, appreciate it a lot more if you drink it warmer. Yeah. And they're like, no, that can't be, right? Because I guess... They're they they so used to drinking beers uh, with ice that uh, that's the way that they're drinking. That's the only way they know how to drink it. There are no happy hours at the Good Beer Company, but Daniel reassured us with his reasonable prices, patrons are getting banged for their buck. And so with 50 types of beers and ciders to choose from, where should you start? 
The answer is Belgium. Uh, Belgian ales um, are a lot richer, more complex, and has a different. I uh, guess you a different experience altogether. I would, for example, recommend uh, 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 a uh, quark. Uh, which is a very, very interesting, uh, strong brown ale from uh, Belgium that is uh, slightly sweet, a little bit chocolatey and toffee-ish, so it's easier on your palate. When Razor TV was there, the two top sellers, Lychee Beer from Taiwan and Stone IPA from California, were sold out. And if you still are late to get to the new stock, you'll do just fine with the next best beer on the list. It's, uh, it's a UK beer uh, that is called the Hop Goblin. Uh, very, very interesting beer only because uh, it's supposed to be drunk at 15 degrees Celsius, uh, right, okay. which is uh, mind blowing to most local drinkers because they think, oh, beers have to be drunk at 1 to 2 degrees or as ice cold as possible. It's rich and very different from uh, you know, most beers that we try. So a lot of people enjoy it because it's a totally different experience altogether. So, what really makes the Good Beer Company, well, good? If you thought his selection wasn't wide enough, Daniel makes sure his customers don't get bored by rotating some brands in stock. But the real question is how he came up with such a confident name for his stall. It's a case of like, you know, I, I'm trying to put uh, excellent beers in a Hawker Center context. Um, I thought it would be challenging to most uh, beer distributors, right? So, I thought if I put the word Good Beer Company there, everybody will want to list their beers in my chiller. <laughs> it's a pleasure talking to you, and now I guess the only thing left to do now is to have a beer, right? Shall we do it? Sure. Pleasure. Brother, let's do it. <laughs>